Good afternoon, sir. I am Edge Probadal from ABM 11 YE-12, and today I'm going to teach you about fraction. In mathematics, a fraction is a number that represents a part of a whole. It consists of a number, numerator, and the denominator. The numerator represents the number of equal parts of a whole, while the denominator is a total number of parts that make up said whole. Numerator is a top number and denominator is the bottom number. So our first example in multiplication is 3 over 4 times 1 third. So what we're going to do here is times the numerator and the denominator. So 3 times 1 is going to be 3. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So we're going to simplify the 3 over 12. So it's going to be 1, 4. So that's our answer for the first one. So the second one is 1 half times 7. So we're going to assume that there will be 1 in the den denominator of 7. So it's going to be 1 half times 7, 1. So we're going to do it again. 1 times 7, it's going to be 7. 2 times 1, it's going to be 2. So the answer here is going to be, so when you're going to simplify it, the answer will be 3, 1 half. So this is the improper fraction. Third one is 2 over 8 times 1 fourth. It's gonna be 2 times 1 is 2, obviously. 8 times 4 is 32. So when you simplify it, it's gonna be 1 16. Easy as that. Another one. Now we're gonna do the division. So in the division, we have example one. Here, three over four divided by one half. So what we're gonna do is copy the first one, change the, mo the division into multiplication, and what we're gonna do is get the reciprocal of one half. So it's going to be 1, 2 over 1. So we just flip it like that. So then we're going to proceed to multiplication, which is 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 1 is 4. So what we have here, it's going to be improper fraction which is 1 and 2 4 so I'm gonna teach you what happened here so thing is 6 4 and 6 so 6 divided by 4 so it's gonna be 1 1 times 4 is 4 so my 2 2. So, the 2 here, this one is going to be our denominator, which is 4. And then, this one is going to be there. And then, the 2 would be at the top. So, that's why it becomes here. Okay? So, we're going to simplify this one into 1 and 1 half. So, this is our final answer on this one okay the second example in division is 4 over 5 divided by 6 so what we're gonna do first is to copy like I said 4 over 5 then change the division sign into multiplication 
then what we're gonna do is there will be um an invincible one here so we're gonna reciprocal it so like one and do that re reciprocal which is a reciprocal there so it's gonna be one over six okay equals four times one it's gonna be four and five times six will be 30 so we're gonna we're gonna simplify the 4 over 3 to 2 over 15 so that's the answer for that example 2 so let's move on to example number 3 okay so the equation will be 5 over 6 divided by 2 over 7. So let's see again. Copy the first one. Replace the division into multiplication. Then do the reciprocal, which is going to be 7 over 2. Then do that multiplication. 5 times 7 would be 35. Yeah. Be 35. And... 6 times 2 will be 12, will be 12, 12, and the simplification will be improper fraction. If you understand our lesson for today, I want you to answer this multiplication of fraction. Try this to answer. You can post the video. Okay, let's now answer this one. Okay, so the basic will be 1 times 7. So 1 times 7 would be 7, of course. Next is 2 times 8, the denominator would be 16. So we can't um, simplify this, so the final answer would be this one. Tell me if you got it right. It's right. 1 times 3, okay, 1 times 3 will be 3, denominator again, 2 times 5 will be 10, yes, so we can't simplify this one, so the answer, final answer is this, okay, let's move on to the next one, or the last one, 9 times 3 will be 27 and 1 times 4 is 4 so this one is um, so we're gonna change it like this so we're gonna divide this 4 over 27 is 24 3 6 I, sorry, sorry. 6 times 4 it would be 24. 24. And then 3 would be the unknown. Would be the answer. Then we're going to put this one, this. And then the one here would be the denominator, which is 4. And then the remaining here would be here. So this is the final answer for this one. Okay, let's. I want you to answer this one and the second one which is 3, 4 divided by 1 over 7 and the third one which is 2, 3 divided by 2 over 5 Pause the video so you can answer it. Okay, let's now answer this first one. So as you know, we're gonna copy the first one and replace the division sign into multiplication. Then get the reciprocal, which is gonna be five over two. Yes, and do the multiplication. 
So, 6 times 5 would be 30. 6 times 7 would be 14. So, the equal would be 15. So, I guess the simplification is would be 7. So, this is not the... Mm -hmm. So we're gonna change it to this. So 7 divided by 15. What? What? It would be what? How many 7 and 15? There are 2. 2 times 7 is 14, right? So we're gonna minus that from 1. So it's gonna be 2 of all 7, 1. So this is our final answer okay the second one would be okay let's answer the second one okay so as we know we're gonna copy the first one and then replace that and get the reciprocal which is 7 over 1 and proceed the multiplication 7 would be 24 21 21 I'm sorry would be 4. So this is not the answer. So we get the improper version of this. So we're gonna be division. We're gonna divide this. Wait. 4 divided by 21. So how many 4 does 21 have? It is 5. 5 times 4 would be 20. So there will be 1. So the answer here would be would be um, 5 over 4 1. So this is our final answer for this question number 2. So let's proceed to this question first. Okay, 3. So we're gonna flip this. Okay. Question 3 is 2 over 3 divided by 2 over 5. So here, we're going to replace it again into 2, 3, and times. And then get the reciprocal, of course. It would be 5, 2. So proceed in the multiplication. That would be five time, 2 times 5 would be 10. And 3 times 2 would be 6. Okay, so this is not the answer. So we're going to move it to be an improper fraction. So get the 6 so it will be the outside corner and then this one in the middle and in the middle the inside so how many 6 does 10 have so it's just 1 1 times 6 will be 6 minus then 4 so this is the so we're gonna so we're gonna do the 6 into the denominator and then this one to the whole number and then this 4 and that, so that is one half over four. But let's simplify this because we can simplify this to two. So it's gonna be one into two over three. So this is our answer for this number three. So I hope you learned something today. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics, that is by Paul Halmos.